Hey guys, I'm Katie or KB Does Art and uh, today we're going to be making a pair of glasses. So um, let's go ahead and just start off with a cylinder um, and then go ahead and rotate that guy on the x-axis 90 degrees. Alright, let's go ahead and scale this guy down to make a thin pair of glasses. I'm going to make mine cool circular glasses. So you can go and select front faces, then select the back faces. And then go into wireframe mode and let's extrude that guy and push our thickness down to negative 0.05. Oh, I might have gone a little bit too far. See how this like ring of faces turns black? Go ahead and scale them up so that they no longer do that. All right. So um, also you can extrude that ring of faces and then up it 0.05 to kind of get like a ring around it, a rim. Um, then you can go ahead and duplicate that object. Oh, that was weird. All right, go ahead and go to edit, delete all by type, and then history. And then duplicate that object and move it on over probably to like about there. Should be good for a pair of glasses. Not too far away. Maybe like there would be better. All right, so go ahead and select this face. And then, oh, we have to combine the objects first. So select both objects, do mesh combine, then go to face mode, and then select both of those front faces. And then let's go and do edit mesh, bridge option box. So in this option box, I wanna do smooth path plus a curve, and then click apply. So now you'll see I've got a little curve going here. So go ahead and click R, then you can scale, oh. All right, so go ahead and scale those guys down a little bit, probably to like about there, and then do edit mesh, bridge option box, make sure it is on smooth path plus curve, and then let's go ahead and click apply. All right, so now we've got a little connection for our glasses. Um, you can adjust the twist if you want some twist in there. Um, I usually don't add any. Um, but it's up to you, so kind of just what you want your glasses to look like. Um, you can also adjust your taper, so if you want them to be thinner in the middle, you can do that as well. I'll probably make line like that. All right. So next thing we can go ahead and do is um, click symmetry. You get there by holding W left clicking, holding, and then moving up to symmetry. All right, so now if we click this guy, oh, it doesn't, okay, never mind. You can turn that off. All right, so let's select this face. Um, actually, I think what I would much rather do do I want to build off of this guy? I don't know. Select those faces on each side so that they're matching. And then do extrude and up that thickness out like that. Probably to like 0.25. Alright, and then go ahead and select those back faces. Extrude and offset them down to 0.05. And then extrude again and up that thickness so they go all the way back like that. And then you can click R and scale them in like so. All right, now we wanna go ahead and add, go ahead and select that last face on each. And then you can click R and then extrude then click R and scale up, and then you can like move it like that. All right, and then you can turn on subdivision surfaces, but you'll need to go through and just bevel these edges on the glasses so that they stay round on those rims. So just go through and hold shift and double click all of those rings 
and then you can do control B for beveling and then when you press change it to two segments and then make the fraction pretty small so that when you press three it should not smooth them out too much then go through and select those inner edges like that do two segments again small fraction all right and now that should really let your mesh um, smooth out so yeah, that's basically how you make a pair of glasses. I hope you guys enjoyed this mesh. Um, in a different video, um, I'll probably do like a speed tutorial on painting it um, and texturing it. If you guys want to, um, it's pretty simple to add those little like nose things right here. Um, all you need to do is just add two spheres and you know, just scale them down so that they are like that. And then you can just push them here and you know, connect them as needed. Um, I didn't because I think glasses look a little bit cooler when you don't have to add those details, but if you're a detailed person, then totally go for it. I think that's a great, um, habit to have. So yeah, um, let me know if you guys have any questions, um, but for the most part, I'll see you guys next time. So, um, yeah, this is kind of how you can make those little edges combine and then all you'd have to do is just combine those guys to the mesh and then um, bridge a face of this guy to that so I can do that super quickly for you if you would like all right and then you can select those guys do mesh combine and then you can select um, a face here and a face here and then just do edit mesh bridge and then you can select a face here and a face here and do the same. Edit mesh bridge. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. <laughs>